Welcome back to Simbright Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. In this class, I'll be teaching you how to sew this beautiful cow caftan with front strips and buttons at the front. So please stay tuned to the end of this tutorial to learn more. Thank you. To start off this tutorial, you will be needing a half yard of uh, plain fabric. I'm using crepe, crepe for both of them. So this is half yard plain and this is three and a half yards, okay? So now this three and a half yards, I'm just going to go ahead and fold it by two. So this is where I have my yardage, okay? So from here, this is my yardage from end to end is three and a half. Then I'm folding, folding it by two equal parts this way. So once I fold it by three, uh, two equal parts. This is what I'm going to have. Can you see? So this is the folded edge. So this part right now where I have the English mouth, I'm going to place it by the side of this dress. I believe you understand. That is where I will have the cow. Then I'll pick up what I have here and make sure it meets with the other English mouth. Can you see? Okay. So I'll fold it again. So you can see how I folded it. And I'm going to place the folded part right now. So this folded part now is going to serve as both my center front and my center back. While the English mouth part is going to serve as the sleeve area. Okay. So remember, this is three and a half. So you can see how I folded it. I believe it's not confusing. So you put the two English mouth together after you have placed it on fold the first time so this is it so i'm going to start up my marking right on this folded edge okay for the front and for the back so now i've quietly and gently folded it and placed it very well because i'm working with crepe and it can wobble so the next thing i'm going to do now I'm going to come down from here by one inch. So you can see my one inch. So I'll gently go ahead and do what? Rule my borderline. So I believe you are seeing my chalk line right here. So just follow my ruler line. So once you have gotten your borderline, the next thing we are going to do now is to place your tape on the border line and start taking your vertical measurement. So the first vertical measurement I'm going to take is my, of course this is, uh, this dress is um, a cow caftan. So we don't even need our chest line. We don't even need our uh, hip line, sorry, our waist line. We don't even need our hip line and we'll just use the hip line as a guide to get the below the knee line before we curve the cow. So once you have gotten your border line, simply place your tape. You can see where I place my tape on that border line. And from there, keep going. Keep going. The next mark you'll be needing will be your hip line. So this is my hip line at 29. I'll add half an inch to it. But I'm not going to mark this line. I will step down from my hip line from there. I'll step down by, my hip line is 29. I'll step down by 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Then I will add half an inch for seam allowance. So whatever your hip is, my hip is 29. I'll step down by 1, 2, 3, 4. Then I'll add half an inch on it. That is where I'll have my cow curve. So I'll go ahead and do what? I'll mark out this cow curve this way. Can you see? I'll mark it out, the cow curve. So that is the only line we need. So after this line that we need, the next line will be the full length. So I'll just place my tape back from that 29, 1, 2, 3, 4. And half an inch I'm going to take the full measurement so the full measurement it depends on your calculation but for me I'm going to use what I have on this full tape this full tape iron part 
that is going to serve as my full length okay so these are the necessary vertical measurements you need for this particular cow cutting so after marking out the full length we'll go back to the uh, beginning to create the neck line so the neckline for this dress, I'm going to start marking them out accordingly. So note that what we have here is both center front and center back. But we are going to first cut out the uh, center back before we go ahead and cut the center front. So right here, I'll place my tape at the center front, center back, and I'll mark 3.5. Okay, so this is my 3.5. And I'll step down with my neckline by one inch. That is the back neckline curve. So I'll just connect it this way. The normal neckline curve. I'll just connect it like this. All right. So once I've connected the back neckline, the next thing I'll do is to still place my tape at that center front, center back. I'm going to measure my shoulder. So the shoulder I'm working with is 17 inches divided by two will give me 17, uh, uh, eight and a half. So I'll just mark the eight and a half. So whatever your shoulder is divided by two, place your tape just like I did on the center front to that point. So here I have eight and a half. So my sleeve length, I'm going to measure out my sleeve length at 17 from the shoulder. So I place my tape and I'm going to mark 17. So this fabric is actually wobbling. So you need to work gently on it. So 17 is my sleeve, but I'll just add one inch, okay? This one inch will make it 18 inches, okay? So at that 18 inches, I'm going to step down by 1.5. At that sleeve length, I'll step down by 1.5. So this is my 1.5. And I'm going to come in with my ruler for the shoulder slant. Of course, you know how we go about the shoulder slant. So this shoulder slant, I'm not going to start here. I'll start from that 3.5 inch allowance, okay? So I'll just go ahead and do what? And keep marking. So I will advise if you have um, a longer ruler, okay? So you mark everything straight at that point. So, but I'll just try my best to make sure, to ensure I mark it straight to that point. So, this is the shoulder slant line. To that one and a half, I step down from the sleeve. So, after that is done, the next thing we'll start to cut now or to mark out is the shape. But before I do that, note that this line we had here was the line I told you about that is going to be the hip step down by three inches which i mentioned earlier in the course of this tutorial so i'm going to highlight the line so here i'm going to take the measurement of my hip so the hip measurement i'm actually working with here is 46 and 46 divided by four because i have this folded by four i have 11 and half i will mark the 11 and half I'll go ahead and add three inches to it. And then I'm going to add half an inch for sewing. Okay, so I like to use half an inch to sew my uh, cow caftan. Okay, I believe you understand what I say. So whatever your hip is, divide by four, place it on the center front on that hip below the hip line. Okay, mine is 46 divided by four, 11 and a half. I added three inches and I added half an inch. So I'm going to take all the measurements I have from here now. From here, I'll place my tape and measure everything I have here. So everything I have here is 15 inches. So that means I'll come down to the hem and I'm going to also mark on the hem line that 15 inches so i'll be able to connect with a straight line from that point so here i'm going to place my uh, tape as you can see and i'm going to mark that 15 inches so here is 15 inches mark so i'm going to connect that point that hem point 
I'll take that hem point from that point this way. I'll take it straight to that uh, below the hip line. Okay, I'll take it straight below the hip line. So you have to be careful of this. So I think this is the below the hip line. So please always work with a straight ruler so you don't, you know, you have your lines straight. You have your lines very straight. I believe you understand. Okay. So you will connect from that point, which I've done now, from the hem, because it's the same measurement to this measurement we take we took below the hip. So after that is done, the next thing we'll do now is to do what? Have our cow connection. So the cow connection. So I'm cutting through the calf. Uh, cow part. So by the time I get to this cow part, I'll do what? Place a curve. Can you see how I curve it? I'll place a curve. Play cut out to the hem line. So this is what we have at the end of the day. So I'll, I'm going to... So you can see how I connected the cow calf turn. Okay, so I have to cut out only the back neck line and connected it all the way from the sleeve line to the cow line. Can you see? So this is what you're expected to have for this cow calf turn. So right now I'm going to take away the inner part of it which will serve as the back, then we'll cut the front. Simply lift it up, take it off. It's going to serve as the back. Can you see? This is it. I'll take it off. Then arrange this one again. I'm going to arrange it again the way it was, so we'll be able to cut out the front piece. All right, so after taking off the back, so I have only one piece here, which will serve as the front. So note that this was our neckline for the back so i'll go over to the hem okay we are going to use a strip of um, three and a half so but i'm going to measure sorry two and a half inches is the strip the width of the strip is two and a half inches so i'm going to measure at the hem two inches so by the time we sew the half inch we have the two and a half so i will come with my ruler so like i said you actually need a long ruler for this so I'll point these two inches. I'll be marking it, pointing it towards the three and a half neck line. I believe you understand. So I'll just keep ruling this line. Okay, so be careful of the fabric. It's actually wobbling. So I'll just go ahead and do what? Connect it at that point, pointing to where I have so can you see so I just cut a um, mark so I believe my line is very very clear so after marking it you have to secure this with your pin of course when you see look at this you can see they are all well arranged and I secured everything with my pin so I don't have any you know issues after cutting so after I have arranged that, I'll go ahead and cut the front. I'm going to cut out here. Here is going to serve as the front. And that is where the strip is going to be attached. So I'll keep cutting. So as I'm cutting, I'm directing it to that hem parts so make sure you arrange before you cut or else you have um, slight issues when joining it so I'm going to cut till I get to the end right now so I'll take off this and this is what the front will look like at the end of the day I'll bring the back so what I have here 
what I have here is the back. So you can see the back neckline. So I'll just simply bring the front neckline. So the front neckline, which I cut now, I'm going to place it on top. Okay, right side to right side. So I'm just taking off the pins I have here. So can you see? So I'll come with the right side of this. And I'm going to place it. You remember this was the front. I'll place it here secure with my pin. As you can see. So I'll go over to my machine now. I'm going to stitch from that neckline to the end. I will bring in this one too. So I will also place it from that neckline this way. So I will place it on the neckline here. Alright, so after I'm done sewing, so I have to sew the sleeve area from the neckline. So you can see the neckline. This is the front. And this is the back neckline. So I have to stitch to the end. I also did the same. I stitched to the end. So now, if you look at the side, you can see I've already stitched the side too. So the cow part of it, I've stitched the cow part of the dress. Can you see? So this is the stitching. So here I left five inches open. Okay, so from here to here, I measured five inches from here to here. Can you see that? Five and a half inches. And I top stitched and I continued sewing till I got to the cow area. So once you have gotten to this cow curve, I always advise you make a little notch for ease. At this curvy part, I'll just make little snip of notches. So by the time... I iron that part will be easy for me uh, to open so you can see I made little notches on that part so I also stitched the side of this completely so the next thing we want to go over now is the strip so for the strip this is the neckline the first thing I'll do is to put the seam lines together on the neckline once I've put the neckline seam together I'll make a notch so that my notch will show the center back. So at this point, I have my notch at the center back. So from that notch, I'm going to take the measurement of my strip. So I'll place my tape on this and I'll carefully from the center front, I'll measure to the hem. So I'll keep taking it to the hem of the front dress like this, like that. I'll keep taking the measurements like that. So here I have 60 inches. I've exhausted my tape. So from that 60 inches, I'll place my tape and I'll measure another 14 or 13 inches. So here I have 73 inches. So this 73 inches now, I'll come in with my strip. So here is the strip I want to use for this. So the strip I have here is two. Note that I was using two and half, um, I was using half a yard. So this half a yard, I've cut it out at six inches width, six inches width. So the length of each strip is that 72 to the end, okay? You have to place your tape and measure from the length of this strip till you get 72. Of course, a yard is usually at 60 inches for this, so you can add up the remaining 12 inches at the hem part. So now, I hesitate to give you rigidity. Please make sure you hesitate as well. So I'll just go ahead and place this to this. I'll go to the machine now. I'll stitch 0.5. That will serve as the center back. I'll give it a good press, then bring it back to show you how to stitch it. I'm joining the part on the part i have the pin that is where i have that seam for the boat of the strip so now i have to iron it with my steam iron i have to make sure i have it at the edge as you can see so i can go ahead and do what trim off 
these excesses I have right there. So provided you have it when folded at three inches. So you can just go ahead and clean up the edges. So remember that when we opened it, it was six. So that means we'll have it at three. You can see that. So by the time I sew half an inch, that is the 2.5 inch strip we are working with. So now I'll just go ahead and clean up the edges. Then we'll start sewing to the dress. After cleaning up the edges, this is what I have. So you can see everything is unfold at three inches. So I will come in with my uh, cow kaftan. Note that we made a notch. Can you see my notch? So I'll just pick it up this way. And I'm going to place it. I'm going to place it, pin it from here at the center. So I'll just secure it. That part will be the center back. So now I'm going to my machine. I'm going to sew at 0 0.5. So as I'm sewing, I'll start from the center front. I'll sew to the end. I'll also start from the center front. I'll sew to the end. So let me... Right, so now I'm done joining it. So you can see I've joined the from the center back. I joined to the end and I joined to the end. So this is what the inside looks like. Can you see that? So I'll just go back to my weaving machine now and I'm going to weave round. So after weaving, the next thing I'll do is to do what? Flip these seams, seams to the part of the dress this way. And I'll place my presser foot right very close on the dress, not on the collar. Very close. I'm going to run my top stitches to the end. So that's what I will do from end to end. Let me do that then give it a good press. So now I'm done top stitching and I have to flip all my seams to the part of the um to the part of this dress. So you can see my top stitches. I'm zooming my camera to show you how you top stitch. Just very close beside the strip. So after that, the next thing we'll do is to arrange the shoulders, okay, and take the measurement of where we are going to close up. So here, I've arranged one side of the shoulder. I'll place my tape right there, and I'm going to measure 9 inches. Can you see? So from here, I have 9 inches, and at this 9 inches, I'm going to trace it to the front okay so once i trace it i mark i'll also come over here make sure you arrange the shoulders or else it will not be equal at that point so i'll just hold it down this way this way so i'll place my tip at the shoulder so from here I will measure another nine inches and I'll trace the nine inches. So this is it. I've traced it. So after I'm done doing that, the next thing I'll do is to bring this one and overlap it to this one at that nine inches. So you can see how I overlapped. I overlapped at a pinch. Just a pinch. Okay. Don't go in too much. And make sure your 9 inches on both sides are matching up. So can you see? So by the time I go and top stitch at a pinch from here to the end, here you can see what we have on the neckline. So all of this is going to sit on our neckline. So I'll go to my machine now. I'm going to take it, the top stitching to the end. Okay? So once I get to the end, I'll also leave a slit at the end. I'll be leaving a slit of about uh, 13 or 14 inches slit, okay, at that point. You can see I'm done top stitching very, very close and I've um, sewn my buttons at intervals. So this is what the upper piece looks like. I have to insert my button and here you can see I have my slit to the hem. So that is how we come to the end of this tutorial and I believe this class was helpful to you. If you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends, drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well. Thank you once again. See you in the next class. Bye.